Performing both a total nucleated cell count and a viable cell count is essential for assessing cell isolation results and ensuring the success of downstream cell-based experiments. Both procedures will be reviewed in this video. First, we will demonstrate how to prepare samples for a total nucleated cell count. 3% acetic acid with methylene blue is used to identify nucleated cells. The acetic acid lyses the cellular membranes to expose the nuclei, which are then stained with methylene blue and can be easily identified under the microscope. Because mature red blood cells do not have nuclei, they are excluded from this count. For accurate cell counting, the stained suspension should contain 50 to 100 cells per large square or quadrant in the hemocytometer. The appropriate dilution factor will depend on the approximate number of cells present in the starting sample. But when working with PBMCs, we recommend first starting with a tenfold dilution by combining 180 microliters of 3% acetic acid with methylene blue with 20 microliters of the well-mixed single cell suspension. Depending on the cell concentration, further dilution may be necessary. Clean a cover slip and hemocytometer by first rinsing it thoroughly in water and then spraying it with 70% isopropanol and drying it with low lint wipes. Place the cover slip onto the hemocytometer so it is centered over both chambers. Fill the hemocytometer with stained diluted cell suspension by carefully touching the edge of the cover slip with the tip of the pipetter and allowing the chamber to fill by capillary action. Do not under or overfill the chambers. If bubbles appear in the chamber after filling, start again with a clean and dry cover slip and hemocytometer. You are now ready to count your cells using a binocular microscope adjusted to 10 times power. Count the stained nuclei in each of the four quadrants of the hemocytometer, including those that lie on the bottom and left-hand perimeters, and excluding those that lie on the top and right-hand perimeters. If there are more than approximately 100 cells per large square on the hemocytometer, prepare a new diluted sample with a greater dilution factor. To calculate the cell concentration in cells per milliliter from your cell counts, multiply the average cell count per quadrant by the dilution factor and 10 to the 4. You could also use an online tool like the one found on the Human Immunology Portal to convert cell counts into cell concentration. We will now demonstrate how to prepare samples for viability counts. Tripan Blue is used to distinguish between live and dead cells. Live cells have intact cell membranes while dead cells have compromised membranes. As a result, Tripan Blue will cross the leaky membranes to stain the cytoplasm of dead cells blue while viable cells remain unstained. To obtain an accurate representation of cell viability, all reagents, including the cell sample, must be warmed to room temperature before preparing a diluted sample of the cell suspension for counting. As with the total nucleated cell count procedure, the appropriate dilution factor for viability counts will depend on the approximate number of cells present in the starting sample. When working with PBMCs, we recommend first starting with a tenfold dilution. The dilution should be carried out in two steps. First, make a five-fold dilution by pipetting 80 microliters of PBS or serum-free medium into the well of a 96-well plate and then adding 20 microliters of well-mixed single-cell suspension to each well. Next, make a further two-fold dilution in a new well in the 96-well plate, combining 20 microliters of Tripan Blue solution with 20 microliters of the five-fold diluted cell suspension. This yields a final 10-fold dilution of the starting sample. Depending on the cell concentration of the starting sample, further dilution may be necessary. Cells should be counted within 10 minutes of staining, as Tripan Blue will non-specifically label viable cells over time, resulting in inaccurate viability counts. Count the viable and non-viable cells separately using the same technique used for the total nucleated cell count. Stained dead cells will appear blue, while unstained live cells will appear white or clear. If there are more than approximately 100 cells per quadrant, prepare a new diluted sample using a greater dilution factor. Calculate the concentration of viable cells 
by multiplying the average unstained cell count per quadrant by the dilution factor and 10 to the 4. Concentration of non-viable cells can be similarly calculated from the stained cell count. Percent viability of the cell sample can be calculated by comparing the number of viable cells to the total number of cells. You can also use an online tool to calculate cell concentration and percent viability of your samples from cell counts. For more technical tips, including videos covering other sample preparation procedures, please visit the Human Immunology Portal or StemCell.com.